In week one, we introduced the science and technological potential GMOs offer in addressing some of the world's most pressing problems, including food security in the face of climate change. But as we know from last week's web search, many people find GMOs threatening. So as promised, this week we're going to look at why. We'll consider the major categories of objections to GMOs. Are GMOs natural? Who controls the technology? What motivates those corporations who are actually deploying the technology? What about objections on the grounds of ethics, philosophy, or religion? And are questions of the contested science and conflict of interest valid? What role do corporations play in the production of science and technology? Are critiques of our industrialized food supply valid? Who is defending farmer rights and social justice? What about indigenous communities? What are the risks, both for human health and to the environment, of GMOs? And most importantly, are GMOs safe? So throughout this week and into next week, we'll discuss why many of these arguments and critiques of the technology can't really be addressed with the science. So let's get started.